Hey everybody, Coach RJ here with Jenny from the Block and of course Big Mama. You know what we do? We provide fun, exciting, entertaining workouts in a family-like environment and most importantly, we get results. We get, results. We get results. A lot of people say it's expensive to eat healthy and I agree. Buying a bag of chips at 99 cents versus buying a bag of spinach at 4.99, that's a huge difference. So how do you eat healthy but still live on a budget? So I'm the perfect person to ask this to because I am such a picky eater. Like even Rick will say to me, I go, oh, I have no broccoli. And he's like, oh, well, there's frozen broccoli in the freezer. I'm like, I don't like frozen broccoli. Okay, <laughs> like that's how I am. So I'm a vegetarian and I have to go to Vita Health to get my tempeh. So it's $5 for a block of tempeh, which is my protein. Okay. Then I eat it with rice and broccoli. So I added that up $5 for the tempeh, what it would cost me for rice and what it would cost me for broccoli. It costs me less than it's about $2 and 50 cents a meal for me when I meal prep. Okay. That $2 and 50 cents I know is super good food that goes in my body. And I'm okay with spending that. If I was going to the keg, would it cost me $2 and 50 cents? No. Right. Anything you can drink water to be healthy, fruit and vegetables really aren't that much. Go to no frills right now, put a banana through, man. It's like 25 cents, like super cheap for, for food. You just have to meal prep. That's the hundred percent key is meal prepping and splitting those meals up. Now, the only thing that costs money, in my opinion, is the supplements. Where do you need to supplement? Well, because I'm a vegetarian, I have to supplement protein. So that's my number one. So I will have to spend money on that. And of course I got to get the vegan, right? But I can have it with water. I don't have to spend money on all the other stuff you put in it. And then I also choose what supplements I want. I can absolutely buy everything and spend 200 bucks a month on supplements, but I choose to just take leaner because I feel like that works for me. Right. But there's of course, 20 other ones that I could take depending on your budget for the month. So I really think you got to take a look at it. My fitness pal is hundred percent free. Download that free app and figure it out because when it comes down to it, it's really worth what you put in your body. Like this is your machine, right? So you don't want to eat, sh eat shitty chips for 99 cents anyway, right? You want healthy food going in there. So that's my advice is to just break down the numbers and go, oh yeah, my meal really only does cost me like three bucks. It's cheap. Just building your palate to need less salt, fat, and sugar. And I think that's going to lead into our next question, but uh, I want to hear from you, Big Mama. So how is, is it even possible to eat healthy on a budget? Um, well, I'll be honest with you. I, myself, obviously COVID has taken a damper on everybody's finances. Um, so for me personally, what I've done is I've given up things in life that I know that I can't um, afford right now, which would be drinking. Uh, so every day I used to drink and, and whatever that's, you know, each to its own. So I figure, well, I'm not spending money on that alcohol anymore. So I can utilize that extra cash and put it in towards food. So that's why I'm able to meal prep, um, meal prepping. I know you're probably thinking, well, what do you mean you can eat food now, but believe it or not, um, when you're on a budget, you'd be surprised with the things that you have to eat because you don't have a choice to eat. So um, so for me, I had to renegotiate my finances and see what mattered the most to me. And liquor is clearly not uh, something that I need in my body. I need to have food. So I got rid of that and um, just things like that. Watch what you're spending, you know, cup of coffee every day. Do I really need to buy a Tim Hortons coffee every day at $2 when totally. I can make coffee at home? Um, do I need to for a coffee a lot of people are doing the starbucks which is like yeah, 450 right? so yeah. or do i need to buy bottled water when i have a filtered machine here or tap water like these are the choices that you must make for yourself right so what works for you may work for you but may not work for me um and just things like that right so utilize and and you know become a bargain shopper look online mm -hmm. at what's on sale you know no frills is really good um food fair has really 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 cheap amazing meat and those kinds of things right so you put in what you get it and you put, you get what you put in. So food is very essential, especially when you're in this industry. Um, you must know what to put in your body and what not to put in your body. Yes. A bag of chips at 99 cents is garbage, but if you needed that craving, I could probably buy a bag of nuts for 99 cents.
right? So yeah, fantastic. And for for me, eating on a budget is not eating out. And I love going to restaurants. I know a lot of restaurant owners. I support them. Uh, but at the same time, whenever we go for like, let's say a pizza, right? And I love those like do it your like build your own pizzas. We on average are spending thirty dollars between myself and Neri. So you're looking at fifteen dollars. And like Jen said. If I were to do this pizza at home, it would be like 250. So I'm spending an extra $10 per meal to just have it done for me at a restaurant. You know, it obviously it's not as good, right? Like the pizza I make at home, no. you know, I'm yeah. not adding some of the sauces that they do, right? Cuz you when you make it yourself, you're a little bit more conscious of what you're eating. And so I'm not going to put the creamy white sauce that I love at you know, the, the build your pizza, but at the same time, uh, it's, it satisfies me at a level that that's, you know what, that's what I needed. I just wanted to have that bready, cheesy chicken with a little bit of bacon that, you know, and I feel good about this. Like there's probably half the amount of calories in it and it was literally $10 cheaper. So if you add that up, I eat out, I used to eat out probably three times a week when I was single and uh, each meal was probably 20 bucks. So that's 60 bucks. And if you take away, I would say to do it at home is about 25% uh, of the cost of eating out. So I've just saved quite, quite a bit of money by just doing it at home. So you can still eat. Last year we had burgers, right? You know, now I'm in a cutting phase, so I didn't have any bun and sugar-free sauce and all that. But we had burgers and uh, like it was fantastic. Right. And the nice thing, it was, it was at the comfort of my home. Right. And it was in a portion that that was made for me versus a portion that is made to support what I'm paying for. Because when you go and eat out a restaurant, they're going to give you, you know, we don't look at the food and how tasty it is. We look at the volume of food. Right. If we didn't get a giant plate of fries, we feel like we got ripped off. Right. <laughs> so when I'm at home, I could literally have, you know, uh, a dozen French fries and be happy with it because that's all I basically needed. So not only am I saving money on my budget, but I'm also saving calories on my waistline. All right, everybody. So when it comes to eating healthy on a budget, Coach Jen says eating healthy isn't actually that expensive. You just have to meal prep. Big Mama says look at where you're spending money and shuffle that money to a healthier option. And Coach RJ says eating out actually costs more than eating in. 